Naga Munchetti was back on Saturday as she presented BBC Breakfast from Buckingham Palace where she gave the latest coverage on the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Roger Johnson was also holding the fort in the studio with Matt Taylor, who presented the weather forecast. However, one segment got rather heated when Roger spoke with Republic spokesperson Graham Smith, who claimed the majority of people in the country are not celebrating the Queen's Jubilee. I mean, you wouldn't believe it by watching the BBC, but the vast majority of people in the country are not celebrating the Jubilee, he raged. The polling is quite clear on this, only 14% said they were planning to do anything and 11% in another poll said they were very interested in it. And at the same time, polling is showing a sharp drop from 75% to 60% of support for the monarchy, and one poll puts abolition up to 27%. So in other words, there are actually twice as many people now that want to abolish the monarchy as, two, who are celebrating the jubilee. Obviously you wouldn't know that if you have been watching BBC news coverage over the last few days. The monarchy is politics, not entertainment and it should be dealt with the same way as political debate, I would say. Interrupting Graham, Roger hit back, Sorry, Graham, you have just thrown quite a lot of figures at people. You did your own YouGov polling back in April, 6 in 10 Britons, 62% according to Republic's own poll think that Britain should continue to have a monarchy in the future. Graham went on to explain, we did a poll about two weeks ago, 60% said that they think we should keep the monarchy and not abolish it, 27% said we should abolish it. There is a sharp drop in support for the monarchy and it still means that when other polling is showing 14% saying they want to celebrate the jubilee that twice as many people want to abolish it than celebrate it. Most people are fairly indifferent to it and most people are enjoying the long weekend and going away. Sorry. The host interrupted again as he added, I am trying to get a couple of questions in. Why do you not think it's a good idea? The soft power the monarchy projects, the tourism that attracts in this country. You know the argument. The Republican fumed, the soft power thing is a nebulous and meaningless argument. The tourism doesn't exist. He continued before Roger questioned, the tourism doesn't exist. There's no evidence that tourism comes here because we have the monarchy, he hit back. I've had that conversation with Visit Britain and they admit the tourism wouldn't go down if we abolish it. We should be basing our constitution on principles like democracy, not on what people enjoy doing on their holidays. But the bigger problem they've got, the monarchy. The support that they do have is sustained by the Queen. And when King Charles comes onto the throne, we are likely to see that support drop further.